What if I told you there is a cloud storage service that prioritizes your privacy so much it doesn't even use cookies? Whoa. That's Kufr for you, but it's not all smooth sailing. I've got the inside scoop on whether Kufr's commitment to privacy comes at the cost of features you might need. In this Kuva review, we're diving deep into security, features, pricing, and performance to bring you the full picture. Stick around until the end because I'll be dropping my final verdict on the cloud storage platform. And before we jump in, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel for more tech reviews and tips. Let's kick things off with privacy and security. Coover is based in the EU and follows GDPR guidelines. That's like the gold standard of data protection, if you will. If you don't know why, let me quickly bring you up to speed. GDPR was introduced so companies couldn't do as they please with your data. You get control how long they store it, what they do with it, and they have to be transparent and fair in how they process your data. I'll leave a link in the description so you can learn more about that topic in detail. Like I said, Kufr doesn't use cookies when you're using the web browser version other than to keep you essentially logged in. There's no sneaky data collection here. There are no ads either in its interface and they never send unwanted emails, at least not in our testing. But what about keeping your files safe? Kufr uses TLS SSL encryption when transferring your files and think of it as a secure tunnel for your data. And where do those files end up? In ISO 27001 certified data centers in Germany, my native country. Wow, that's amazing. Plus they offer two factor authentication to add an extra layer of security to your account. Now, Kufr also offers a feature called Kufr Vault. It's a zero knowledge encryption add-on, which in plain English means even Kufr can peek at what is inside. This is a big plus for privacy conscious users and it's something that not all cloud storage services offer. It's really worth noting that Kufr Vault is available on all plans. However, the amount you can add to your vaults depends on which plan you're on. So the more you pay, the more you get. Some other services like sync.com offer the same lever, level of encryption across their entire storage by default. Now, let's dive into Kufr's features and usability, shall we? From my testing, Kufr keeps things pretty straightforward, which is a good thing if you're looking for something simple and easy to use. The user interface is sleek and really intuitive. You've got access to most of its features in the left-hand menu, and there's a clear upload button in the top menu as well. There's an option to drag and drop your files into your account as well, if that's what, what you prefer. And as for standout features, Kufr's got a built-in image editor, which could be handy like for the odd quick image edits that you wanna do. You can use it for resizing, cropping, or applying even image effects. It's only available on paid plans though, and if you're a serious photographer, it, it won't be anything for you, but it, it's good that it's there for the light occasional use that you might need it for. Kufr also has a built-in duplicate file finder. So if you've got multiple copies of the same file scattered across your cloud storage, Kufr makes it easy to find and remove these duplicates. It's a simple feature, but one that can save you a lot of time and free up space you didn't even know you had. Now, this tool is also only available on paid plans. So if you're sticking with the free tier, you'll have to manage those duplicates the old fashioned way, manually combing through all the files. When it comes to productivity and collaboration, Kufr's got some decent offerings. Let's kick things off with what sets Kufr apart. First up, Kufr isn't just another cloud storage service. It's also a cloud manager. Well. What does that mean for you? Well, you have a single dashboard where you can access and manage files from your Dropbox, Google Drive, and even OneDrive accounts. You know what I'm talking about, right? That moment when you're searching for a document and you can't really remember if you saved it in Dropbox, if you saved it in Google Drive, or was it in OneDrive, or in some other hard drive. Yeah, well, Kufr 
puts an end to this headache. And Kufer integrates with Microsoft Office so you can create, edit, and collaborate on Office documents right within Kufer. So no need to download files or switch between apps. It's all there in your browser. As good as it is to have this feature, I'll say this. On the free plan, it doesn't look like MS Online Tools and the interface is bland and really uninspiring. Honestly, I did not enjoy creating documents when using Kufer's free version. And to be able to work with a normal Microsoft Word format, you'll need to bump up to the pay plan. Kufer allows real-time collaboration on these documents too. So if you're working on a project with your team, you can all use that spreadsheet at once, making edits and seeing changes in real-time a breeze. Now, let's talk about file sharing. Kufer allows you to share files and folders with both Kufer users and non-users, depending on your plan. With the free plan, you can privately share with up to 10 Kufer users and create up to 10 public links. But higher plans offer unlimited private sharing and more public links. So you can also set passwords and even expiration dates for your shared files. One thing I really like about Kufer is how flexible it is with file sizes. You know how frustrating it can be when you're trying to upload a big video or a bunch of high-res photos and suddenly you hit some arbitrary file size limit. Well, Kufer doesn't do that. They offer unlimited file sizes. So they're way more flexible than services like OneDrive or Dropbox. Their desktop app is also super convenient. Whatever changes you make on your computer showing up in the cloud right away and vice versa. However, Kufer lacks block level sync. This means that when you make changes to a file, Kuver has to re-upload the entire file, not just the changes. So for large files, this can really slow down sync times considerably compared to services like Dropbox that offer block level sync. Speaking of synchronization, Kuver's mobile app allows you to automatically back up your phone's photos and videos no matter what plan you're on. It is available for iOS, Android, and you'd expect, but it also works with Huawei. I think that's how you pronounce it, right? Anyway, let's talk about Kufer Speed. Now, I've put this cloud storage service through its paces and I've got to say, it's pretty impressive. We do all our speed tests in-house using a stable 100 megabits connection. Why? Well, this gives us basically consistent results we can actually compare over the years and over the months we're testing these services. Now, we use a five gigabyte folder filled with all sorts of files, documents, images, even 4K videos. We upload and download this folder twice and then we just take the average. So then we're sharing the results with all of you. So how did Kufer stack up? It did a great job with uploads. Kufer averaged a speed of around eight and a half minutes. Download took just over eight minutes on average. The likes of um, iStrive and pCloud offer quicker performance, but Kufer is nothing to turn your nose up at. If you're curious about how other services performed, I've got a video for that too in this channel. So make sure to watch that. Now, let's talk about monies. Coover starts off with a free plan that gives you 10 gigabytes of storage. Not bad, but not really the best. If you're looking to stash a few photos and documents, it might really do the trick. But if you're a digital hoarder like me, you'll burn through 10 gigabytes in no time. And by the way, if you're curious about how this stacks up with other free cloud storage options, we've got also a whole video breaking down the best providers for free storage. Moving on to the paid plans. Their entry level briefcase S plan offers 10 gigabytes for 50 cents per month. But hold on, that's the same amount of store as, as the, the free plan, right? That's true. But with this plan, you get longer version history, more Kufer Vault storage and unlimited sharing features. So there is a little bit of an upside here. And here's a quick breakdown of other plans. Their briefcase M plan gives you 25 gigabytes for just $1 per month, while the Crate 10 XXL plan offers 10 terabytes for $60 a month. Compared to giants like Google Drive or Dropbox, Kufer isn't exactly the cheapest option out there. For example, Google Drive offers 100 gigabytes for just around $2 a month. Which is more storage for less money than Kufer's 25 gigabytes plan. You can check out the full pricing options in the description box below so you know exactly uh, what you need to sign up with. So, who's Kufer really for? Now, if you're someone who 
Well, really values privacy above all else, Kufr might be right up your alley. I mean, a cloud service that barely uses cookies, that's pretty rare these days. It's also great if you're juggling multiple cloud accounts and want to manage them all in one place. On the other hand, if you're looking for the cheapest storage option or require more advanced features, you might be better off with other cloud storage services. In the end, Kufr is a solid cloud search option that stands out for its privacy focus. It may not be the cheapest or the, mo the most feature rich, but it does what it does very well. All right, that wraps up our review of Kufr. What do you think? Could this be the cloud storage solution you've been looking for? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this review helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech reviews and tips. Until next time, see ya.